Okay, so I'm not sure if this is me, but I have got a bit of OCD when it comes to my icons on my home screen and the text in particular. So I've got this application here called ROM Toolbox Pro. And as you can see, it's way too big and you can see we've got the dots at the end. To me, that looks horrible. My OCD kicks in and I don't like it. So there's an application you can get called Desktop Visualizer. Now what Desktop Virtualizer will do, it will actually create you new shortcuts to make it look like an application icon. So when you open it up, you can see here we have the top sections asking us to select an icon. So here we can choose image file, application, icon, all that sort of things. So I'm choosing application and I'm going to come all the way down the list and I'm going to come to ROM Toolbox Pro, which is coming up any second now. There we go. So now we've selected it and now we have to give it an action. So what do we want to do? We want to launch it, obviously. So again, I'm going to come all the way down. Now you could use this to mess up, mess with somebody's head by actually changing it to a different application, but I'm not going to do that. And then here we can actually change the name. So I'm going to get rid of the ROM and the Pro. So I just want the word Toolbox just because it's easier than typing uh, all out again. And then that is it. I'm going to click on OK, select the launcher, and then we are pretty much done. So if we now go back to the home screen, you can see we have two icons, but the new one has just one word instead of that horrible looking um, dot dot at the very end. Now to me, that's just my OCD. I think that looks better and I can then get rid of the other one. Now it's not just um, icons, it also does widgets as well. So if I just move along, you'll see that there are quite a few different sizes. So if I just select and hold down this one and just add it to the home screen here, we get this awful looking icon thing here. We need to tap on that to change the settings and again it brings us into a similar sort of interface so again we're going to select an icon so in here again it could be image file could be application could be icon pack or add-ons but for this i'm just going to use the album one just so it's at the very top and then again we need to select an action what do we want to do so with this one we're going to launch an application again which will be album and once we've done that again we can give it a label which is pretty handy and again we can have label colors we can also have a touch effect so when you tap on it it has an orange effect in the background vibration on or off and we click ok and there you go you can see it's created a new widget we see there's the orange bit as you tap on it and again we can move this around the home screen like any other widget so that is pretty much it folks i just want to thank you for watching this video if you found it useful please give it a like if you're not subscribed to the channel click the subscribe button just above you can also follow me on twitter at matt saunders mcp so as always guys, I'll catch you all in the next one.